We're kind of at the point right now where I really don't have to use it all that much, but Spangle, she's my youngster, she does sleep in the crate, and she can be pretty destructive. So if I can't watch her, um, she's in the crate. If I go upstairs and take a shower, I generally put her in the crate. So the key with it is you want to reward them for be doing in the crate what you want them to do. So I take it to class with me too because I don't want her barking in class. I want her to be quiet. So Spangle, crate up, crate up. So when she goes into her crate and she's nice and quiet, I treat her. And if they're whining or barking or, up, oh, Spangle, crate up, crate up. Good girl. Good girl. So you reward the good. If, now we're way past the point where she whines in the crate, but if she did, I would totally ignore it. I wouldn't tell her to be quiet. I would just simply ignore it. Um, and then I would wait until she's quiet, and then I would reward her. You really don't want them to see you reward her. I think she kind of has caught on that I'm the one pressing the remote. You basically just want it to come out of nowhere. So that is the treat and train. And I mean, it has a whole lot of different applications, but good for a young dog when you are trying to get them to be calm and quiet um, and do what you want them to do, right? Okay, Spangle, thank you very much.